Welcome back, everybody, for episode two of the Battle for Kipke. The In this uh, uh, second scenario, or second episode, uh, our forces, uh, Russian, we are playing the Russian side, and we are moving towards our objective of taking this crossroad uh, in the center of the screen where my uh, cursor is at. The second objective is to consolidate and capture the town, and then third objective would be to take the uh, bridge where my cursor is now sitting. I lost, as you can see, quite a few vehicles uh, in the initial uh, battle uh, crossing these agricultural fields here. In the future, I may, to make this a little more, even more difficult, is to make these fields uh, boggy so that vehicles like these would uh, break down and uh, get mired in mud. Uh, which in the Ukraine, uh, Ukraine is sort of like uh, uh, the breadbasket of uh, Western uh, uh, Russia, or Russian area. And um, I'm sure the Ukrainians wouldn't want to consider it that though. Anyway, the it is a huge agricultural area. It's known for its uh, productivity, and uh, in this case, these is, and that's represented by these different agricultural areas here to the right, to the left, in the upper left, and this uh, sort of yellowish tan area over here, which is another agricultural area. Uh, to minimize my uh, losses to my armored vehicles, which um, I know that there are tanks in the Ukrainian forces that face us. And what we're going to do is we're going to use our infantry uh, through these trees here, use these trees as cover, and push uh, south uh, along this main highway to uh, capture these two locations. And then that should satisfy our victory uh, conditions. The I'm also over on my left, on the left flank over here, which would be the east flank, is I am trying to... Uh, take all these houses, assault these houses with infantry, and uh, consolidate my hold on those so that we can cross uh, this open field here and be murdered by anybody who happens to be in these houses. As you can see, the the basically the left flank or east flank is meant to uh, distract uh, infantry or vehicles in the, in the town center, the Ukrainian forces, so that I can come in from the uh, north and pressure and uh, cap them, fire into the uh, town from this direction, and we can just sort of piecemeal our way down the line here. I'm sure once we get past this central area around the main intersection here, we'll be able to uh, be able to push forward much faster. Uh, it's just getting a grip on some of these uh, forces. Now, we in this area here, we had quite a few uh, infantry that got annihilated. Uh, so we're, we're, we're getting stopped here. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to deal with this because... Um, it's becoming more difficult to uh, push into these areas without uh, armored tanks under kind. We don't have any tanks on our side. We have these very capable uh, APCs, uh, as over here, uh, BMP3Ms, uh, but they're not on a head-to-head -head with these tanks. They're going to probably lose, So, unless there's quite a few of them. Anyway, those are the challenges that we face in this uh, particular uh, situation or scenario. And we're going to start now to uh, push forward and see where we can go. Moving my infantry forces uh, closer. I'm not getting any uh, kickback or pushback from the enemy. Something just happened. I'm uh, cautiously hopeful that not having any uh, kick or pushback uh, is uh, a good thing. The assault is continuing on that structure, so they're not quite. Uh, the second part of the squad hasn't arrived there yet. Troops are crossing the road. So far, so good. Whoa. Darn it. 
this one of our vehicles. Can't afford to lose too many of those guys. Armor. As you can see, uh, this is the uh, movement phase. I've got just about everybody moving uh, forward. Uh, the most risky move is going to be this uh, BMP over here. He's going to move up through here along this road and then camp out over on uh, the side of this house here. That'll give him a good advantage to anything over here. Unfortunately, I think there is stuff over here, and he's going to going to have to be really lucky uh, to be able to uh, get there. I think I'll have him move fast. Well, this guy's going to be the key to this little operation here. We're also going to uh, assault this structure over here and take that. That'll be the beginning of the of the uh, our occupation of that area. Uh, these guys are this uh, squad of soldiers over in the far left on the east flank are assaulting this structure just barely can be seen here. My machine gun squad is moving into the forest uh, edge of the forest here to provide uh, machine gun coverage in this area and uh, bring in uh, suppression fire on any structures that are here. This uh, machine gun over here is moving up to the uh, tree line as well and then I'll probably move them over to the south a little bit so they can provide additional covering fire when we decide to if we decide to assault from the east uh, flank so that's where we stand right now here we go of particular interest is going to be this puppy he's moving fast I rather thought he'd be firing when he got over here, but... Shoot, we lost another vehicle. Ah, uh, there's a bunch of tanks over here. Uh, his first shot hit the uh, trees. He's shooting smoke. Bummer. That war that war photographer was probably killed. Okay, we're going to concentrate on watching uh, this vehicle in here. Oh, shoot! No idea what happened down there. He was hit by this. Why can't he see that? Oh my goodness. He needs... <laughs> Why doesn't he see this?
Oh, he can't see him either. He's immobilized, but... Alright, good. He sees him now. Boy, this guy is getting earning his keep. Trips are moving forward. Here go guys. Trips were behind the uh, walls here. be uh, that tank that was destroyed. That tank was destroyed, it appears. They've taken a couple of guys down here. Alright, we're starting to fire. We're on the east flank of the project. Rifle grenades, probably. A little bit of a firefight going on. Looks like you may have uh, taken a little damage from that. Okay, here we go. We're going to uh, start to push in again on this uh, north flank and see if we can get uh, start to clear out some of these tanks. So I think this is going to be our biggest opposition is over on the right uh, west flank. Our sniper obviously uh, took some fire here and he's retreated. He was doing quite well for a while there. Yeah, I don't know who got him. Well, the good thing is we uh, pushed into this uh, structure here and uh, we've got a number of people in there. Uh, we've got a team over here. Uh, it's, the question is, can I get them from this structure to this one? That's going to be a hard one. Alright guys, go for it. This is the most critical part here. Now we've got an APC behind us on this road uh, that uh, 
should be able to pick off anything that comes up, but it is occupied uh, right now. Alright, here they go. They should be going into the structure. Alright, first part is in there. They're assaulting. They're going to go in for the second floor now. Two seconds. Here's our other uh, squad coming in here. Here we go. This is going to be kind of a critical move here. Okay, try to give him some, some support through here. All right, this infantry group is going to start to assault this structure. Go. Oh, excellent. These guys are giving me fire over there. Maybe that'll... Who's shooting at them? Bunch of troops here. Ah, oh, there's another one back here, too. So we've got at least two more armored vehicles. There's two uh, infantry squads here, or at least one anyway. Plus, all right. But this tank looks like it's alive. Okay, so we haven't cleared this area. <laughs> I gave this group an assault order here. They appear to have wisely ignored that. <laughs> Alright, let's see what happens here. We're going to try to push our forces up. There's no gunfire over here anymore, but there is a lot of smoke being generated. Okay, so there's two of these guys back here. One here on the left, and that one too. That's going to be a challenge to uh, try to get those guys. So, if I can bring up my APC right here. Okay, here we go. This is the one of the critical um, moves. Is this uh, any personnel carrier? He's going to move up to here. And hopefully he'll be in a position to be able to knock off that armored car. a couple of air bursts and he's killed those men. Using this other uh, enemy APC as protection. So that worked out. I'd kind of hoped that we had gotten uh, a kill on the what I thought was an APC there, but it may have moved. Wow, 
good enough. All right, here we go. Oh, there's an enemy vehicle over there. He's dead. Okay, here we go. part of that's for most of that squad hey. those guys are still giving fire from the structure over there I think I can probably move these guys up now Okay, Russian army, total victory. Uh, let's see. So it looks like we... I don't think we took everything. Um, but we got 1,500 points, and uh, the Ukrainian army surrendered. So that was the end of that. Wow, they... Um, let's see, they had 68 men killed. We had 38, uh, 11 wounded. Ours were 7 wounded. Uh, we lost one tank, they lost six, they lost five armored vehicles, we lost eight. Um, it was a pretty interesting battle, let me tell you. Um, I wasn't sure how it was going to go, though, but we were able to push the enemy back, so, you know, pull them, push them off those points, I think. <laughs> like I said, this was my first um, created uh, scenario, so, but I was pretty pleased with it, and uh, particularly now that I have the score and uh, it was a lot of fun to build it too so I encourage you to try the same and uh, let ever the people uh, play your games I haven't uploaded my game at this point I still need to uh, finesse it a little bit so it looks a little bit more normal but uh, I certainly uh, had a great deal of fun playing this I encourage you to do the same thing and uh, if you have it, if you like this uh, scenario, then uh, please give me a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please do that. And we'll see you on the battlefield.